Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptex here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Eden Emulator, which was released just few days ago. I'll be showing you guys the setup, best settings, and gameplay. Let's get started by taking a look at the latest version of the Eden Emulator, which was released three days ago, the Eden version 0.0.3 RC3. Now in this version of Eden Emulator, it contains lot of changes including some games that have finally started working, a critical fix for LAN connection along with that, internal fixes, new major, Vulkan and memory fixes and even some performance improvements, stability and compatibility improvements. Now I'll just go ahead and scroll down and change you that Android redesign is here. So you'll get a brand new UI inside the Eden Emulator. Here are the games that have been fixed, so the list of games that are fixed in this brand new version. So force closes, basically these games will still force close in terms of booting these games previously did not boot and crash but now they have started working so you guys can check out walking dead a new frontier etc lot of these games used to boot but used to crash quite a lot so that has been finally fixed along with that here are the games that wouldn't work with their update supplied but they have finally started working all right guys to get started i have already added the newest version of eden emulator on my android device as mentioned before let's tap on the allow button and here let's start the setup procedure of this brand new Eden emulator version where there have been theme changes you can see some of the text and font colors have been changed the UI layout has also been changed by a little bit there are new borders but the setup procedure will remain the same where you'll need to import all your Nintendo switch stuff that you have dumped on your Android device legally once you have completed your entire process simply tap on the continue button and here we go tap on don't show again now immediately you'll notice some changes in the brand new UI of the Eden emulator you now have bordered interface where all the games have been bordered around so it makes it much more visibly appealing in my opinion and if we switch our screen to landscape orientation we get this amazing layout which I personally like quite a lot just take a look at this Eden emulator looks so amazing I noticed another thing now the Eden emulator logo has a red glow which is pretty impressive let's go to the settings option and here go to advanced settings go to system limit speed percentage make sure to turn it off if you have a flagship Android device if you want to use network connection inside this emulator you can also enter your web token and web username in terms of graphics accuracy level keep it at normal resolution scaling set it to 0.75x this resolution scaling 100% works and the lower the resolution the better performance you'll get while emulating switch games enable force maximum clocks use asynchronous shaders vsync mode set it to mailbox aspect ratio set it stretch to window once that has been done, go to performance overlay and you can customize the performance overlay that you want to see for example battery temperature, uh, system memory usage and so on. I'll only enable the app memory usage option afterwards go back. We'll go to device overlay and here everything keep it as default. In terms of audio output you can set the audio output as null if you want few more FPS but for today's video I'll keep it at auto. Once that has been done in debug make sure the CPU backend is native code execution and everything else keep it as default. In terms of Eden Wells where Eden emulators official secret settings will go here. You can set the VRAM usage mode to aggressive. You can also enable custom CPU ticks if you want more performance. It is recommended to set it below 22,000 or around 22,000 but I have set it as 31,000 for today's video if you face crashing issues then you can disable the custom cpu tick option i'll also enable lru cache and that's about it those are the best settings you can change the memory layout but it is not really recommended now that we have applied the best settings if you have a snapdragon processor android device go to the driver manager option tap on the fetch button and make sure to import the graphics driver that is recommended for your android device for example i have snapdragon 8 elite processor so it is recommending me to use the, the game hub emulator graphics driver so i'll simply add it if you have a snapdragon processor you can use the mr purple turnip graphics driver or kimchi turnip graphics driver so here we go i have imported a custom graphics driver you can also use multiplayer functionalities by browsing public rooms joining and lot more we'll go to applet launcher and we'll enter the q launch feature to see if it works or not towards the left side and right side you guys can see details of the android device are present here like the fps overlay as well as everything else so just take a look at this we are emulating the hidden nintendo switch emulator on our android device and it is working without any issue now that we can see even the applet launcher is working we'll just go ahead and exit this emulator's applet launcher feature and try out our first game that is going to be FIFA 25 or FC 25. As I mentioned before in the change log, FC 25 
still does not boot so unfortunately this game does not work in this Nintendo Switch emulator. But what about our OG games like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu? Will they work? Let's find out. First of all, I'll import a save file inside this game. Once the save file has been imported, simply tap on the back button and launch our game once again. So here we go, our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu has successfully started. For it to work, you need to go to controls, go to player 1 and here, set the controller type to handheld. Once that's done, our game should successfully start. Here we go, we are about to play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on our Android device but unfortunately on snapdragon 8 elite processor you guys can see this game has a lot of graphical issues okay guys i changed some of the settings which i'll show you later on in this video but my graphical output is finally back so here we go i have successfully launched pokemon let's go pikachu and you guys can see the fps that i am getting is almost 200 which is pretty amazing and the graphical issues fixed when i changed some of the settings that i had asked you guys to apply so let me show you guys what settings i have changed to fix the graphical issues all you'll have to do is set the extended dynamic state to zero now as you all know i always keep telling you guys that pokemon let's go pikachu is the worst optimized game that you can emulate inside the any user emulator android folks and that still stands true even with the eden emulator you guys can see the amount of fps that i am getting inside this game cannot exceed above 40 even though i can run games like legend of zelda tears of the kingdom at almost 6200 fps still let's go pikachu is not that optimized and you won't get the best fps inside this emulator for let's go pikachu go with the og skyline emulator and yeah that's going to be it for today's video do definitely try out the hidden emulator it is definitely the best nintendo switch emulator for android in 2025